Y'all, when you work for God, there's no time frame. And you won't complain. You get dreams. You get woken out of your sleep. You get woke out of your sleep. You get woke up. <laughs> that don't sound right. <laughs> but you get out of your sleep. You get woke up from your sleep. And you won't complain because this is supernatural stuff. It's exciting um, to hear from God and, um, you know, to be shown something by God. It's amazing. Um, so, um, I don't really want to go into details about my dream because I don't want to be too revealing because um, the dream is not about myself, although this is a reminder to myself um, if I ever need it in the future. Um, but I believe many people uh, are in this category and God is speaking. So in this, this message was with urgency and it was like, I don't really, okay, it could be two things. I feel like, I feel like, um, one of the reasons why I had this dream, right? It could be to delay the person that I talked to from doing whatever they was doing. God made it, may have been protecting them from whatever that was getting ready to happen. Right. Um, like right then and there, but then also what the word is going to be about. And the main thing is, um, what I'm gonna get ready to say. And so, um, so God cannot bless a situation that he has no control over. Prophet T. Leray, what do you mean? For example, a man that has, um, Let's just say a man has kids with a woman, right? And the man, uh, the kids live with the man, right? And they're, well, the man is going through some stuff with his children, mother, right? And because of their breakup issues, which he was the hurt party, right? He, he, he got hurt out of the situation, right? He's controlling, you know, the whole situation out of his hurt. He's still hurt. You get what I'm saying? Well, God can't do much in that situation until that man relinquish that whole situation to him. To turn it over to God, not to his hurt. Not to his control. Remember what I've been saying. Lean not to your own understanding. But acknowledge God in all your ways that he may direct your path. So for your, for, for those of you that are trying to be pleasing to God. For those of you that call yourself in God's will. For those of you that have, you know, you're supposed to have a relationship with God. These are the, the requirements that God is requiring for us to have. We have, for our life is not our own. We must relinquish full control to God. We we can't control any area. If we do, we're not going to get blessed in that area. God cannot bless that area that he don't have control over. That's the word. God will not, cannot, never will bless the area that he don't have control over. He can't. He'll be trespassing. Period. That's all I got to say. Good night. You guys be blessed. <laughs>